him linked while he was locked up or yeah, and I wouldn't talk to him well, I, well I what made it, how would he think he would be able to do something with Mo3 he said Mo3 was a real nigga and, and shouted him out Mo3 was the only person shouted him out while he was locked up so nobody else did uh uh-uh. really yeah we had no I like my I talked to him I talked to him down there three times a week three days a week after week Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Let me ask you, man. Uh, Maserati, yay. I seen him in his first video interview, and he said that he had planned to work with Mo3 when he came home. Yeah. And and I'm trying to understand that because when I before he left, it was a whole group thing, of course. He was over there, you know, yeah. everybody. Why, how, did, how did he come up with that? Were you and him linked while he was locked up? Or? Yeah, and I wasn't talking to him. Well, I, well I what made it, how would he think he would be able to do something with Mo3? He said Mo3 was a real nigga and, and shouted him out. Mo3 was the only person shouted him out while he was locked up. So nobody else did? Uh-uh. Really? Yeah, we had no, I like Maserati. I talked to him I talked to him down there three times a week, three days a week after week. Yeah, I like Maserati. I, it was a picture floating when all of them was on the picture together uh, a long time ago. Ticket, yeah. What uh you think... With him being gone, or with him being here, what what would have changed, or how would it how would, how do you see that playing out if he'd have been around during all? Uh, this people time? wanted him to leave. He had too much money in the midst of little boys. Okay, but I'm saying, do you think it would have played out differently, or he would have? Uh, been- yeah, cause it, cause when he left, it was a race to be the boss of the city, the number one spot in the city. Everybody wanted the number one spot. And that's what they messed up at. Yeah, that's what they fucked up at. Because at the end of the day, everybody everybody wanted the number one spot in Dallas. But it got to be a point guard. It got to be a solid point. You know what I'm saying? Not no, not no, um, not no Schroeder. Not no, uh, 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 not no goddamn, uh, Brunson. I like Brunson. But it got to be a solid point guard. And then and just run the plays and let everybody else follow the lead. And then that's how you win championships. How was the relationship with the Maz Rodier and Mo3 when all the, when it was all together? How was this this whole – explain cool. that diagram to me. That was cool. The Mo3 with the Trap Boy Freddy, the three, Yellow, wish, all of them cats when they I was wish, rocking together. I wish 3 was alive because 3 was like – I tell 3, he, you know, he was more cooler with uh, – 3 was more cooler with both of them before Maz Rodier. Okay. And then at the, when he died, he the only person that publicly say that how Mo3 was go hard and Mo3 was a stand-up nigga. And I don't think 3 would have, 3 probably wouldn't even believe that right now. Really? Yeah, he wouldn't believe that that, that, that Maserati would keep it real. Because Maserati seemed to be, you know, he, he out now. And, uh, he a grown man. He, he, he didn't grow up. Yeah, he a grown man. So, you know, at the end of the day, he, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I fuck what him. what what's the biggest change in his character since before he left to the the guy he is now? I know you say a grown man. I really didn't know him. You we, didn't know? Oh, you didn't know him like that. I, we just dapped him up, and, and went, I really didn't know him. My ride did tell me like, a lot of people. He tell me like, oh, we won't be around that nigga. All the goddamn Jerry go, he go fuck our hoes. Rain hell, ain't he? But yeah, the truth, yeah, I can't be around that. That nigga asked the Martins and the, the, the <laughs> dumb ass shit, nigga. Nigga, you gonna fuck out a lot of bitches. You can't be, I don't want to be around that nigga, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't know him. Wow, that's I'm cool. crazy. Yeah, I'm cool with, I'm, you know, yeah, I'm cool with, you know what I'm saying, different people, but we ain't know him like that. So, you know, when he went to jail, you start reaching out. He talked to him all the time. I tell him, you know what I'm saying? You know, Asian dog, you know, the first person signed them, Cuban dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't give him his props. You, I seen him with Dolph and all kind of stuff. He, he first person bring everybody here, bring, bring, bring Future. Spent down there a hundred bands on Future and brought him down here. Yeah, Miles Ryder was doing it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So people don't give him his props. So, you know, our rappers right now, just know the rap game is not loyal. Uh, uh, the rap game is not loyal. You know, uh, uh, these niggas, you know, they'll leave you out of shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll leave you out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.